Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you're enjoying your railway modelling. In this video I shall be running this W1 Hush Hush from Hornby. It's had sound fitted from roads and rails. Also I'll be showing you a few figures that I've had painted. And I'm just going to show you a little touch to add realism to your uh, models. So without further ado Let's get the sounds on.
somewhere in May I noticed uh, this new building in the heritage line. Um, this is just simply made from scraps I had in my box. Uh, the main part of the building is from in the greenwood lasers. Um, so I sprayed it white. The front two parts of the building, those are from scale model scenery, shop fronts. So I've just put some cardboard down the side, uh, give it a bit of depth. As you can see there, give it a bit of depth. Put some uh, interior wall in, in there with a bit of decoration. A uh, couple of lights. And uh, I think it looks the part. Just made from a bit of scrap. Just lying about. So, you really can do anything if you put your mind to it. It doesn't take a lot. I say these are just sitting about, so it hasn't really cost me anything. Because I already have the stuff. So, it just adds a bit of interest to that corner there, rather than have trees. So... I think you agree, it fits in nicely on that corner there, just by the path. Little cake shop and a tea room. Ideal for the heritage line. Really chuffed there with the way it's come out. Tell me what you think in the comments. So I'm um, just going to show you how to add realism to this uh, Oxford diecast ice cream ban. Pretty simple, one screw at the bottom, just unscrew it and then just pop the body out. Put that to one side for it. What you have to do is, if you can see there, you got glass, that's all in one sheet. So I've already popped this side out and then what you have to do is cut there and cut there. Um, sharp Stanley knife blade does the job. Or you've got like a little Dremel Mauto saw. That's what I use. Uh, just watch your fingers on that. Um, but be yeah, um, a Stanley knife blade will cut that out. So um, I've already uh, cut this as I said. So, this is the one side. So what you have to do, just get a bit of glue and glaze. Just one little dab there. Put it on there. That's all you need, just to hold it in. Yeah. It ain't going to be pushed around like a kid's toy. And then just simply... I get it stuck on my fingers. Just pop it back in there. So I will do the same on the other side. But with the other side, you cut there, you've cut through the uh, silver liner where the doors are on the windows. So just a little liquid chrome, chrome pen. Just rub it down the side. Again, it's a little bit of glue and glaze drop that back in there can you use super glue but glue and glaze dries clear and then it gives you the impression that the windows open this is the piece I've cut out so it gives you the impression that the windows open, ready to be served, ice cream. So, as regards the the body, what I've done, I've already uh, I've added a newspaper there for the dashboard, another bit of realism. 
So with the person inside, they are too tall. So what you have to do is uh, just cut the legs off. And then what I'll use, a bit of black tack. To one side. And then just roll it up. Because you're not going to see this. And just squash it in there. can glue them if you want but I find this is easier and you ain't got to wait for the glue to dry so yet yeah, person's in there ready to be serving eyes you can paint that white if you want but I say you're not going to see it so then it's just a simple case dropping that back inside So let's drop back inside there. As you can see, person's in there serving ice cream. That chrome pen I did on the pulling on the ice cream device. So yeah, and then it's just a simple case. Putting that back in there. And there you go, you have one ice one ice cream lady serving ice cream and there's a newspaper on the dash so yeah just a bit of realism to add to your models I've done a lot of drivers as well to my vans and trucks looks a bit more realistic isn't it? I say it's just a simple case of unscrewing Doing a bit of modifying to the person and then dropping it on your layout. So, yeah, just a simple five ten minute fix, no special tools needed. Let's give it a try. just want to show you these figures uh, I have these from scale 3d and model U sent them away to Sue Matthews uh, you'll find her on eBay Sue paints miniatures she's done quite a few of my uh, figures on the layout 
and she does a fantastic job so this raw male worker this was from model U again painted this one uh, that waitress bringing some food out to the chap on the bench I've just got to add a couple of figures into there I'll show you them figures now yeah so these are the other figures she's painted for me I've got to add these to the layout yet yeah. glue them all down excuse the, the shadow of the phone but I'm just showing you roughly what it is a few people there on the mobile phones camera holding a dog is it another uh, customer assistant a couple of keys chap reading the paper and these young kids which I'll have as train spotters on the layout also what, what I want to show you is this this is an L gauge Deltic from Hellion um, I had this custom plate made by Maxitrack I'll put the link in the description again excuse the, the shadows come off the display case but yeah that's an old gauge nameplate on the loco so that's about seven inches long that one there again they've done a fantastic job just highlights the loco in the display case Thank mm -hmm. you.